Hello everyone, welcome to Tumamina. We are now doing our math work lesson 5. This lesson is all about the practice of everything we've learned so far. I'm moving from studio and into my classroom in this lesson. Walk with me. In this lesson, we'll be putting pen into paper. Right, so here we will be doing distance, bearing and coordinates. Now this video is designed specifically for you to follow with me and do the activity with me. So what I suggest is go into that description um, section below, find the map that we'll be doing, which is the Cape Town map with the index of 3318CD with the scale of 1 is to 50,000 and print it out and let's do this together. Now we'll be starting with the distance of the container depot covering blocks A5 right and splitting right into A6. Now the first thing we need to do for distance is to measure the container depot. You take your ruler, you do the measurement, draw a line there to check where your ruler stops, right? That is 3.3 centimeters. 3 centimeters, 0.3 centimeters. Now you take your 3.3 centimeters, you multiply it by your scale as explained in the previous, in the previous video, and that gives you 0, 0,5. If you take 3.3 and multiply it by 0, 0,5 to turn it into kilometers, it then becomes 1.65 kilometers. And just a reminder, we are multiplying by 0, 0,5 because the scale of this map is 1 is to 50,000. So if you revisit that video, you will see how we get to 1 is to 50,000. The second calculation we're doing, we're doing a distance calculation from Breakfast Rock in Block D4 to the recreational grounds in Friedehoek in Block C4. You, similar thing, you go to your starting point, the breakfast rock, and you connect it with the recreational grounds in block C4. Now to measure the distance from breakfast rock to the recreational ground in centimeters. This is exactly at 3.5 centimeters. Now we've measured 3.5 centimeters on the map. And because this map has a scale of 1 is to 50,000, our scale factor, we multiply by 0, 0,5. So you say 3.5 centimeters times 0, 0,5, that gives you your answer in kilometers. So in this instance, 3,5 times 0, 0,5, that will equal to 1.75 kilometers. Moving over to bearing. And for our bearing calculation, we will be calculating the bearing from the trigonometric beacon in block B3 to the stadium in block A3. The trig beacon 544. So as you would in any bearing, there's no formula, but there are steps. So for bearing, the first thing you do, you connect your two places together. So trig beacon to the stadium. The second thing you do, you draw a vertical line from your beginning point or your starting point. We normally call this line the northern line. Straight up. Right? Now this angle is always measured in a clockwise direction. This angle is definitely less than 180. So this helps us a bit. Take your protractor and in a clockwise direction, you measure from zero degrees to your point. But you will notice that my line is too short for my protractor. Remember, the angle does not change your distance. So grade eight and nine, you are allowed to extend your line beyond the point, as long as it still aligns with the feature. So I extend my line 
to make it a bit more easy to read. I go back again, zero degrees clockwise direction, and that is equal to 27 degrees, 27 degrees. So therefore then, my bearing from the trick station to the stadium, it is 27 degrees. The second calculation I will be doing is from Orion's cave in block E4 to Leucorp in block C3. Let's do this together. Orion's cave is our starting point and there's the cave, right? And then Leucorp in block C2 is our end point. First thing we do, let's connect our starting point and end points. Second thing we do, like we did the first time, we draw a northern line. Now, if we are moving in a clockwise direction, it means you're moving from this northern line to the line that joins Leucorp. This angle is clearly more than 180 degrees. So our protractor is unable to measure this. All you have to do here is to extend your northern line downwards to make it a southern line, straight down. After extending it, making it a southern line, you need to measure, again in a clockwise direction, from the southern line to the line that joins your two areas. And there's the line that joins Leocorp and Orion's. And this line is 147 degrees. You can see there, it has not reached 150. 147 degrees. So because this line is from your southern line, you always need to add the 180. So your answer here will be 180 degrees plus 147 degrees and that is equal to 327 degrees and that would be our bearing from Orion's cave to Leucorp, the Trig station. Our final calculation is coordinates. Remember coordinates is the point where latitude joins longitude, right? That's the exact position on the ground. The first coordinate we will be calculating is the coordinate of the stadium. Now, the first thing we do always is to take our ruler, go and locate the feature. There's the feature. It is in block A3, right? After that, we determine our latitude coordinates. I go to my feature, I draw a line from the feature straight across to my minute bar. Right? That makes it easy for me to locate, to tell which minute it gets and which seconds it is most closest to. My map index here, which is 3318 CD, you will remember from previous lesson that 33 tells us the latitude the 18 tells us the longitude. So we already know the order in which we write our coordinates, right? It is degree, minute, second, then direction. Because we're in South Africa, our latitude direction is south because we are south of the equator. Our degree we have received from our index, it is 33 degrees. Now, if you look at our minutes, in lesson four, I did mention that a feature is always located between two minutes and it always gets the smaller minute. This feature is located between 54 and 55 minutes, right? So it gets 54 minutes. And I always suggest if you're going to use estimation and not the time 60 rule, you need to divide your blocks into four equal parts. Start with the half, then the first quarter, then you go with the third quarter. Now, 
if I divide this into four equal parts, I will have my half right here, a half of that, and then the second half, then my final one here. My feature is less than the first quarter. It's less than 15 seconds, right? So because there's a window of estimation here, there's a window of error, I think that this is 10 seconds, right? So I give this feature 10 seconds. My coordinate for this feature ends up being 33 degrees, 54 minutes, 10 seconds south, remember, because we are south of the equator. Now, that's the complete latitude minute. Moving to the longitude minute. Again, it's the same approach, it's just a different line. You do it on the top line now. You go to the top line. Now for our degrees, the index has told us which degrees we have, it is 18 degrees. So we have 18 degrees, for minutes we go, our feature is located between, here's our straight line, between 24 and 25 minutes. Remember the rule is it gets the smaller minute, so it gets 24 minutes. So, so far, we have 18 degrees, 24 minutes, and 4 hour seconds. If you divide the block into 4 equal parts, there is my first half, and there's my third quarter. So, first quarter, half, third quarter, final one here. The, my feature is less than 45 seconds, but more than 30 seconds. And what would we have here? I'd say it is 40 seconds, right? And then my direction, because we are east of the Greenwich Meridian, we then have east. How would these coordinates read? They would read as 18 degrees, 24 minutes, 40 seconds east, right? That is your longitude coordinate. So then, how would the entire coordinate read? It would read as 33 degrees, 54 minutes, 10 seconds south, and 18 degrees, 24 minutes, 40 seconds east. So for our last coordinate calculation, I'll be looking at the excavation in block C5. The excavation, right, again, same approach. You need to locate the feature, it's in block C5. After that, you need to draw a line, a line from the feature to the side. Thereafter, you draw a vertical line from the feature to your bar. Remember that either side corresponds with the other side and top and bottom correspond also. So in this feature, if I've divided my block into four equal parts, right? For my degree, for my degree unit, I have 33 degrees. Second one will be my minutes. My minutes are between 56 and 57, and it gets the smaller one. It is 56 minutes. And luckily, my seconds are exactly halfway through the block, so it is 30 seconds. Direction, the equator, so it is south. How do our latitude minutes or our latitude coordinates read? They read as 33 degrees, 56 minutes, 30 seconds south. And for our longitude, we have 18 degrees, and then our, our feature is located between 26 minutes and 27 minutes, and it gets the smaller one, 26 minutes. So, so far we have 18 degrees, 26 minutes. Now, if here is my, the half, the, the half, here is my first quarter, my second quarter, and the end of my block. Now, this is above 15, right, but very near. And that would be 30, that would be 45, and that would be 60. 
Now for me, because it is so near to the first quarter, I'd say that is 17, just above, just above 15. So I'd say it is 17 seconds. So then so far I'd have 18 degrees, 26 minutes, 17 seconds, and direction would be east, because again, we are east of the Greenwich Meridian. So our entire coordinate would read as 33 degrees, 56 minutes, 30 seconds south, and 18 degrees, 26 minutes, and 17 seconds east. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best for your map work and hope to see you next time.